So do you think you can get a cavity while in braces? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about what cavities are, what causes them, how they can be prevented, and treatments that your dentist can do to restore these cavities. So let's go. What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all been doing awesome and are staying safe during these times. And I know you're seeing the shirt and you're saying, oh my God, he has 99 problems, but what isn't one? Well, if you stay tuned to later on in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the bottom of this shirt is. So stay tuned for that. And speaking of shirts, some of the custom made braces shirts that I made on this channel, which are linked below in the Teespring are on a huge discount. I'm talking like huge, huge, like 30, 40% sales on those. So if you wanna check those out, go ahead and look at them. They're right under the video in the little description area and they're on, on Teespring. And for those of you that have already purchased the shirt, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Dr. Gartho so I can share it and show other people how awesome your shirts are. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that has been brought up on this channel as well as on our Braces Club community quite a bit. And that is what are cavities, how are they formed, you know, what are treatments for these things, and how can I prevent getting these cavities myself while going through this orthodontic journey? So the first thing I wanna talk about is what is a cavity? Well, a cavity is basically a dent or a divot, a hole in a tooth. And this is caused by the minerals of your tooth actually being dissolved away from the tooth structure. And like we're gonna talk about in a little bit, cavities are definitely preventable, but after they get to a certain point in the tooth structure, they're actually irreversible. So if you have a cavity in a tooth that goes you know, a little bit too deep, this can't be remineralized. This can't be reversed and is actually gonna require a filling. Have you ever had cavities before? Let me know in the comments of today's video. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up so I know that you guys are enjoying today's video. Okay, let's get back into it. And the way these cavities form is when the pH in your mouth becomes low. So that means that your mouth becomes very acidic. This can be caused by eating things that are actually acidic or drinking things that are acidic, like sodas, lemon juices, things that are very you know, acidic and that can actually dissolve away your tooth structure. Or it can be caused by the bacteria in your mouth that actually produce acid. These bacteria produce acid whenever they're exposed to sugar. So this is why your dentist and your orthodontist always say, you know, avoid sugary foods. Because what can happen is these bacteria, these bugs that live all over your teeth, they eat up all the sugar in your mouth and their waste, their byproduct is actually acid. So this acid goes and dissolves your teeth, which causes cavity formation. So to prevent cavities from forming, you wanna eat less sugary or sweet or acidic foods and drinks. And you wanna make sure that your teeth are clean and prevent this bacteria from building up on your teeth. Because as you can imagine, the more bacteria that build up on the teeth, the more they can digest these sugary foods and release more acidic products on your teeth, which will lead to cavity formation. So let's talk about how does this impact your braces? Well, you have a much, much higher chance of developing cavities when you're in braces. And that's not because of the braces. It has nothing to do with the braces, but it has everything to do with having to maintain really good hygiene while you're in braces. If you can imagine, the teeth are a really, really smooth structure. So bacteria can't stick on the teeth that easily on a normal patient that doesn't have braces on. But when you have the braces on, you have a lot more areas where bacteria can sit, stick to the tooth, and it's a lot harder to clean, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, when you're going through your orthodontic process. And I made a bunch of videos on this channel that talk about you know, how to brush properly with braces, how to floss properly with braces, how to use a water pick with braces. These are all great tools and products. And I know a lot of people brush, but the really important thing is to clean between the teeth. Because I've talked to a lot of my general dentist friends and the ones that are actually doing the fillings on these teeth, and most people that go through braces develop a lot of cavities between the teeth, right? Because as you can imagine, it might be easy to brush with braces on, but it's incredibly difficult to floss with braces on. This is why I recommend every single person that is going through their orthodontic journey to invest in a water pick. And I put a link to my favorite water pick products in the description of today's video. And I can't stress this enough for your own good. If you are about to start with braces or going through braces, please, please, please invest in one of these products. It will do wonders to your hygiene. It will prevent things like puffy gums, bleeding gums, as well as cavities. So please invest in this so you can maintain good oral hygiene throughout the braces journey. So like I said, the main ways to prevent cavities from forming is to maintain great hygiene, decrease the amount of sugary, sweet, and sour and acidic foods and drinks, as well as don't snack too often with the braces. Because every time you eat something that's sweet, sour, sugary, every time your acidity in your mouth goes down, it takes about 20 or 30 minutes for that pH, the acidity in your mouth to go back to its normal level. Right? So for those 20 or 30 minutes, your teeth are actually dissolving and the minerals are leaving your teeth. Don't worry, if it's a small amount, they'll go back into the tooth during this remineralization process. But if you're snacking and you can imagine, you know, every 20, 30 minutes you're putting something in your mouth, that pH in your mouth is staying super low the entire time. So your mouth never has the opportunity to remineralize and your teeth can't take these minerals back in and this increases your risk for cavities. So take home messages on how to prevent cavities from forming. 
One is maintain excellent hygiene. So make sure that that bacteria doesn't stay on your teeth or in between your teeth. Number two is avoid sweet, sour, acidic foods and drinks that are gonna cause the pH of your mouth to go down and those minerals to leave your tooth. And number three is to try and snack a bit less. This is because we don't wanna have that exposure often to your teeth which leads to the pH going down and you know your teeth losing their minerals. So I think you kind of get my point as to what causes or how this process of cavity formation occurs. So this brings us to the point of, can I get cavities when I have braces on? And what happens if this is to occur? And like I kind of touched on earlier, yes, you can absolutely develop cavities when you're going through braces. And that's because you have a lot more stuff in your mouth to clean and hygiene is a lot more difficult. So I would actually say you have a higher chance of getting cavities if you're going through braces because it's a lot harder to maintain good hygiene. Because there's so much stuff in your mouth, it's also really, really hard to get rid of any of the food that gets stuck in your braces throughout the day. So this is why snacking is also really bad because you're basically having more food getting stuck up in the braces and that food is feeding the bacteria and causing them to release more and more acid. Now, that's not saying that if you have braces, you're gonna get cavities or that's an excuse to get cavities. No, absolutely not. I had braces and I didn't get any cavities during that time and I've actually never had a cavity myself. And that brings me to what's on the bottom of this shirt. I've got 99 problems, but a cavity ain't one. So if you guys stuck around long enough to see that, now you know it was on the bottom of the shirt. But like I said, this is no excuse to develop cavities. If you're able to maintain good hygiene while you're going through the braces process, and you know, avoid the foods that are bad for your teeth, as well as not snacking, you're gonna do just fine and really, really decrease your risk of getting cavities. So next what I wanna talk about is, let's say you actually got diagnosed with a cavity by your dentist or your orthodontist, and you have to get it taken care of. Well, I could literally make an entire channel about all the different ways that a cavity can be fixed, but the basic concept is the same. If you have a tooth that has a cavity in it, it could either be a big or small cavity, and you know, depending on the size of the cavity, there's a different treatment. But the concept is, is there's a hole in the tooth that has bacteria living in it. Now, what your dentist will do is actually drill out all this decay and all this bacteria and restore the tooth to its shape. Now, if it's small enough, this can be done with just a filling, but if it gets bigger and bigger, you might need something like an inlay, an onlay, a crown. There's a bunch of different things and a bunch of different ways to treat a tooth. And I'm not even gonna begin to dive into it. But what I do wanna talk about is, let's say you do develop that cavity. Well, at that point, your dentist and your orthodontist will communicate. Your dentist might ask your orthodontist to you know, take the wire off or take a bracket off so that they can access that tooth better. And this is actually gonna take a little bit of time. And as you know, time in orthodontics means a longer treatment time. So if you do develop cavities during your braces journey, it may increase your treatment time. Now I'm not saying this is always gonna happen because sometimes your general dentist may be able to work around the braces to you know, restore the filling if it's small enough. But if your general dentist does want the braces to be taken off, then this may increase your treatment length. And if your hygiene is getting so bad, your general dentist and your orthodontist might actually recommend taking the wire out or taking the braces off for a while for you to maintain better hygiene. So I know I keep going back to this over and over again throughout today's video, but please maintain good oral hygiene. I have a bunch of products that I recommend in the description of today's video and a lot of videos on this channel describing these oral hygiene products and ways to maintain oral hygiene with braces. So the best thing to do to prevent a cavity, but if a cavity is to occur, you wanna get it filled as soon as possible because if you leave the cavity in your tooth unrestored, it can get worse and worse and worse and it's not something that's gonna be able to reverse itself with better hygiene, the best you can do is slow it down. But once a cavity gets to a certain point in the tooth, it's not a reversible process. So if your dentist says you have a cavity, please get it restored as soon as possible to decrease the delays that might occur on your braces journey and to make it so it's a more conservative filling or restoration for that tooth. And that pretty much covers what we talked about in today's video. We talked about what cavities are, how they're formed, what you can do to prevent them, and the impact this can have on your braces journey. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, and be sure to check in next Saturday for our next video. That's all I have for now. Be sure to stay healthy, safe, and happy, and don't forget to keep smiling. But for now, Dr. Greg, out.